Oh, what the f What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Thesis, aka Thesis himself, from Vaping with Thesis Zest, right? God bless it. Now, look. Mm. Today we've got the OBS Cube Kit. I'm excited for it more than I've been excited for any mod I have been in recent memory. If you want to get into vaping and you don't want to fuck with batteries, you just want something to be able to throw liquid in and go, this is the kit for you. I'm going to have the link in the description. Make sure your ass clicks that link. That is how I earn my income. Aside from that, join the Ninja Militia via Patreon. Patreon.com slash thesis himself. Huge shout out to each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, notification button. Comment below. I want to know what your guys' thoughts specifically on built-in battery mods. Skip the small talk. Let's go and get up close and personal with the OBS Cube kit. Mm. Okay, smother truckers, now peep game, son. Today, I've got for you the OBS Cube Kit. Now, real quick, if y'all have made it to the up close and personal section, go ahead and smash that like button on the right-hand side. Also, do me a favor, make sure that notification bell is ticked. Now, let's go and do a real quick rundown. We got the box right here, yellow, beautiful. Looks very OBS-esque. Pop this to the top. You got the Cube Kit Manuel. Oh, it's full color, not that it needs to be. Damn, so they took extra steps to make this shit like all chromified and stuff. Hawkeye's okay, beautiful manual. I gotta say it's a super thorough, but it, then again, it doesn't really have to be all that thorough. This thing is so basic in terms of function. You'll have no problem getting your hands on this and just using it. After that, we got, of course, the extra glass. Again, a huge shout out to OBS for adding this extra glass into the kit. I know a lot of kits out there do not, and that's kind of something that annoys the fuck out of me. That's just something that I take personally. Like if you're gonna send out a kit, if I'm gonna pay this kind of money, I wanna have at least two coils and at least two sets of glass. That way we're gonna be set for a couple of weeks at least. And y'all know me, if you watch my Snapchat and my Instagram stories at Thesis himself, you'll see that I break tanks on a constant basis. That's not an exaggeration, that's just the truth. And this inside this little goodies bag and box, we got, of course, a USB, micro USB cable. It's not too bad. This isn't uh, exactly as long as I would prefer in terms of a micro USB. However, I would like to see something a little bit longer than that. But I will say that this is decent size. We got the extra O-rings for the tank. And then we do have this spare coil. I did use both of them. This one here is the 0.2 ohm. This is a larger mesh coil on the inside. I like it a lot. However, I do got to say I like the triple one a little bit better. The triple coil head gives me a little bit more flavor than I would say the single coil does. That's just my own personal preference with my own vaping style. Now right off the bat, let's go and start with my least favorite part of the kit. That's gonna be the tank. The tank isn't bad, and I do wanna stress that, that this tank is not a bad tank. However, listen to the noise that it makes when you take a puff, listen to this. Wide open. It sounds like a 1940s movie where they have that weird cheesy wind in the background. Nope, not doing it for me at all whatsoever. For me, that's a make it or break it. If it's that whistly and that annoying, I want nothing to do with it. Even if you go ahead and close it to a third or a half, it's still not quiet. Listen to it. The flavor on it is decent. It's got a four milliliter capacity, which is solid, especially for the airflow that they give you. It's not a breathe through a snorkel type airflow. This does have a bit of restriction and the flavor is good. Not a great tank, not something that I'd be excited about purchasing on a separate uh, on a separate basis. I wouldn't purchase this, I wouldn't seek it out on purpose, um, but if it comes with the kit, it's a decent starter tank for me. And again, I think that's kind of where they're aiming towards. They're not aiming towards the advanced vapor or someone who's looking for insane flavor or insane clouds. Let's go and pop this on and see if I can show you guys the density of the clouds themselves. Yeah, definitely decent clouds, nothing to scoff at, but it's definitely not something that I would consider to be higher end or amazing. Pop this off, the threads on it are decent for the price, however, I did get a couple of, yeah, right about a quarter way down, maybe a third way down, it starts to get crunchy, gets smooth again, and then hits that 510 deck right there gorgeously. Look at that, no gaps, no nothing to worry about, which I wouldn't expect. Now we'll turn to the positive pin itself. It is spring loaded. You do have this brass connection right there, which is decent. It's not as big as I would like it to be. Also, this peak insulator does seem a little bit chintzy to me. Man, I could push down that so easily. Not a fan of it, but that's all right. I've never had any issues or disconnection or variances in, in, uh, in resistance, so that I'm not too worried about. I do like to see cool designs and stuff on the decks. However, this is one of those exceptions where it's machined so beautifully, it looks gorgeous. There's nothing about that that I can find to complain about. Okay, so now real quick, on the mod itself, or the chip itself rather, there is no feature that I can find aside from just wattage, and that's something I highly enjoy for the most rudimentary vapors out there. For someone who just wants to pick up a device and go, this is perfect. Now look, I am an advanced vapor. I've been vaping since 2010. With that in mind, I also don't use temperature control. I just prefer to use wattage, and a lot of times I prefer canthal. Now granted, you are, you are going to get some different flavor properties with nichrome, with titanium, 
aluminium with stainless steel. But for me personally, Canthal is something that I, I know very well inside and out. I know the volatility of it. I'm also familiar with how long it takes to oxidize all those things. That's why I enjoy Canthal. Now, if I take my time and learn uh, the nichrome properties, the titanium properties, the stainless steel properties, of course, I will get to know those as well. However, I still find so much pleasure in just grabbing a device, hitting the wattage, and then just going. That to me is what vaping is about. The reason why people love smoking or loved cigarettes to begin with is because there was no thought process in actually having a cigarette or a cigar or a pipe or what have you. You grab your favorite brand, you light up and you walk away. That's really exactly what I want to see in vaping. But with this one, that's kind of the demographic that I feel like they're reaching out and grabbing. Now something funny about this device, um, if you go online like on vapor DNA and whatnot, you are gonna see a temperature control suite feature on the, on the, on the list. And I actually printed this out on purpose just to show you guys right here you're gonna see temp control you're gonna see temp control suite right there so on and so forth that's not the i can't find it i don't know what the fuck they're talking about where they're talking about it with because one two three nothing there is no menu system that i can find now with that being said mother truckers i want you guys to look at the physicality of it this thing is absolutely beautiful the machining on the stainless steel portions are perfect the buttons are gorgeous they're classy they're not too big they're not too small they click perfectly go ahead and listen to this quick perfection. I've gotten zero auto fires. The up and down buttons are easy to find. I can feel exactly where that fire button is at all times. Plus the fire button's different size than the minus and positive buttons, which is my favorite part of any button because I want to be able to tell the difference between the three without having to look at it. It fits perfectly in the hand. The battery life is by far and away the most impressive 3000 milliamp hour uh, battery I've used to date. I think it's a 23600 or a 26300, something along those lines. Now granted, there's a lot of people out there who don't like internal battery mods. But that's okay, they don't have to purchase it. I purchased this on purpose with the Patreon money so I could review this and I fucking love it. End of sentence, I just love it. Now if you look at the bottom, it does have a venting hole right there. This is your micro USB charging port. This here's your screen. And then this backside has that beautiful honeycomb with the cube logo right there. Absolutely beautiful. Pop this on again, there's that crunch and then there it goes. Hit the button and you just go. Now real quick, one thing I'm not a huge fan of is tenths of watts. In this case, it does not go by tenths of watts. It goes by a full watt at a time. That's something I highly enjoy. And the way that you lock this bad boy is simply hitting the fire button. That's gonna lock your wattage right there. The way to unlock it is one, two, three on the positive and you're gonna be able to adjust your wattage that simply that easy. And then as soon as I hit the fire button, it's already automatically locked. Something I like, it's a safety feature that I enjoy. Now real quick, let's go ahead and do a weigh out on this bad boy. Let's see what she weighs. 157.6 grams, not bad at all. With the tank, Granted, the tank is not completely full. 214 grams, not heavy, not light. It's just in the middle where you want to see it. If you're looking for a kit for somebody to quit smoking with and you want to throw a Nautilus Aspire on or even use the tank that's already included, this is it. This is that kit. There's no batteries you've got to buy. It's already in there. Nothing you got to think about in terms of that. I'm highly enjoying it. That's a big fat thumbs up. Now with that being said, let's go and get back to regular new sun. <clears throat> My final summation is this, the OBS Cube Kit, in my opinion, is by far and away the simplest, most easiest kit I've ever put my hands on. There is nothing for you to fuck with. There's no temperature control for you to screw up. There isn't any menu system for you to get into and then lost. This is legitimately the simplest version of a mod, of a higher-ish wattage mod, of a sub-ohm system that you can get. There's very little out there for me to actually compare this device to in terms of other devices and kits. The best way I could put it is kind of reminds me of the Jitterbug cell phone but for vaping, it's it's that simple, it's that easy. I've kept this shit in my pocket for days. Now I'll tell you guys, OBS and I have had a, a a rocky relationship for a little while. Even if OBS and I disagree on some things, I will happily respect the fact that they made an amazing product. With that being said, the flavor on the tank is 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 above respectable. I would say a solid seven, maybe a seven point two. It's it's a mesh coil. So for me personally, it's difficult to find a mesh coil that I like with my menthol. I still prefer regular Canthal coils, like the original Fire Luke Fire Lock coils. Those are still my personal favorites. But I am coming around to the mesh systems. The one downside about this tank specifically is going to be that noise. Yeah, not a fan of how it sounds. The weird notch system that the cap, that the top cap sits in, I like a lot because it's only it's simple. You put it on, make sure it's tight. You push down, those two O-rings mesh together. You're gonna get a super nice and solid vacuum on the inside. You're not gonna have to worry about leakage. I have heard of people putting their top caps on a little bit too loose and then it does leak in your pocket. Never had an issue for me whatsoever. Can I just go ahead and say that the, the deck, the 510 deck is fucking beautiful. Look at that. Look at the machining on that deck. 
That is absolutely gorgeous. The gunmetal is beautiful. Now, granted, people are gonna say it's a it's a fingerprint magnet, and sure, it is, but it's gorgeous. Now, of course, I gotta do some clouds for y'all educators. Let's go and do that real quick, all right? Mm. Good God. The wattage, the cloudage, all that stuff is perfect for a beginner setup. So, okay, some other truckers. Now, with that being said, don't forget to hit my ass up on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All three of those at Thesis Himself. Patreon.com slash Thesis Himself. That is how I make my income. I appreciate the fuck out of each and every one of y'all ninja kitties. With that being said, always hit me up on the live streams Thursdays and Saturdays. Thursdays at 10, Saturdays at 9 p.m. I right, mother truckers? Bitches. Now, with that being said, I want to tell y'all that I appreciate y'all for vaping with Thesis. It is your boy Thesis. I'm out. Mm.